um, thank you again. Um, attendance has been tremendous at this event, and we really appreciate it. And really hope you can stick around for networking, because um, we'd love to, to mingle and expand your networks. Um, and today at this panel, uh, right now we're going to talk about legal matters, advisors, how to structure your company, how to structure your boards, and and really um, piggyback on lot, a lot of what the panel was talking about earlier um, this afternoon um, in terms of, uh, to, to quote, to quote um, Clifford Holcamp, no wonky terms. So maybe our uh, a panel of attorneys can, can talk a little bit more depth about what are some of the standard terms and um, what types of things should you avoid? Um, because when you do have an angel investor in, in, interested in investing in your company, it, it is hard to turn that money down. Um, but um, we're here today just to provide you some great advice. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit like drinking from a fire hose. Um, so please be patient with us because this is a really complicated topic that we're going to try to cover um, in short order. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce um, the panelist and our moderator. So Harry Arader with BioSTL Fundamentals. Um, I'll just go in order here. Catherine Love with Brian Cave. Uh, Marquita Barbieri, Barbieri with Carmody McDonald. Andrew Special with Pulsinelli. And Gita Rao Sant with Washington University School of Law. So thank you very much, Harry. You're, you can take it away. OK, Michelle, thanks very much. So I like to get a little bit of a sense of who's out there first. So. Uh, hands in the air, please. How many of you are involved in startup companies right now? Okay, that looks like a third. How many are thinking about it? And how many have decided not going there? <laughs> Nobody. All right, so everybody's open-minded. That's good. <laughs> it's during the legal topic. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you came to a legal conference, so good. So, uh, so that's a wise thing to do. Welcome. As you heard, we're going to be the Legal Matters panel. I am not a lawyer. But I'm sitting up here with your new best friends because you're going to find it surprising to hear a business person say that you know lawyers are actually a good thing. But uh, when you're starting a company, you really do want to start off right, right from the start. I'm going to come, uh, with a, come back with a story in just a minute as to an example of that. But anyway, so Catherine is uh, going to cover business formation. Marquita is going to cover the talent pool and how you establish a legal relationship with your board, advisors, and ultimately employees. Andrew's going to talk about you know, the whole valuation exercise in a company and how that's done and when and why. And then uh, Gita is going to talk about how to get in touch with and work with uh, lawyers. So those are the topics that we're going to cover here today. We're going to invite you all to uh, raise questions at any time during the panel. And uh, I'm going to act as sort of a timekeeper and uh, try to keep us on track and on time. So if I break in and ask you to take the conversation, if it's getting a little too detailed, I might ask you to take it outside of the room, and at which point, you know, please uh, just, just honor our wishes there because we've got a lot to cover. So thank you very much for that. So I'm Harry Arader. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've started 10 life science companies with more or less success. Uh, you know, about five of those are ultimately going to exit. Three of, are either in the money or have exited already. And uh, positive exits, by the way. Uh, and I'm now a full-time entrepreneurial coach. I see several of my uh, mentees in the room, so welcome to you. Um, so BioSTL Fundamentals is a program that offers coaching and resources to life science companies. It's open to anybody who wants to create a startup company in the life sciences in St. Louis and who has either a patent or a file, a patent filing or a uh, idea that they think is patentable. So it's you know, pretty broadly open, but you do have to have a patented, patent filed or, or uh, a patentable technology. And um, you know, so I mentioned that we provide coaching. We also provide resources. And so most, most of the resources have to be earned by coming in and, and listening to the coach. That's me, right? But there are some resources that are available free of charge. We provide training for SBIR and SDTR funding so uh, non-dilutive funding, which we can get into in the, in the hallway if you want. And uh, we also have something called the uh, BioSTL Life Science Entrepreneurs Roadmap. And so this is a downloadable PDF. It's on the BioSTL uh, website. And you just have to give us your email address and uh, other information. And it's a 65-page PDF that's organized as a FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions. So